Hello guys, my name is Working and welcome to my third devlog here on YouTube on my game I'm developing uh, with uh, Multimedia Fusion 2.5 So what you don't know is that the game is almost finished It's like 90% uh, finished it's already on it has a steam page and uh, you can add it to your wishlist but I'm trying to catch up all the videos that I have from development for the last six months so yeah I was uh, pretty optimistic on the last video thinking that it will take me two or three months to develop when I'm six months now in still developing it so yeah, feature creep is a real thing. I'm stitching all the old videos that I had recorded during development, so hope you enjoy. So this week uh, I made a lot of progress on sewers. Actually it's almost finished, the only missing part is boiler room puzzle, which I still have no idea what kind of uh, puzzle it's gonna be. Here you can see I have a puzzle a counter, I will think about it what I'm gonna make from it. Also yeah, here you can see a skull, a skull active object. This is a uh, spawner, enemy spawner and this is uh, the amount of time it's gonna spawn every time. This is the amount, how many uh, monsters gonna appear. I can type in like 20 if I want to, one and this helps me a lot. Also this is the only name of the enemy that's gonna spawn. So yeah, I, I was fixing a lot of uh, issues with the uh, inventory system, a lot of... Uh, I couldn't, uh, couldn't fix it and still have no idea how to fix it when you take too much items the items start to overlap on each other so this is gonna be a fix for me it should it should uh, not fit more than uh, space there is for some reason still one spot left so that's why I can pick something in and it just uh, hides an item over it when you throw it away this happens so yeah still some issues to figure so you already saw that the inventory looks a little bit different I pushed uh, this thing uh, here so I think it's maybe looking better and also I integrated stamina system when you swing your melee weapon or you run the stamina will go down as shown here it's only temporarily and uh, I will fix it later and this is only for guidance for me to see uh, how how stamina is being used and how to cal calibrate it. So I will show you how the sewer system looks. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about uh, losing uh, this uh, switching between light and pistol which uh, for some reason uh, it doesn't look like you need to use the flashlight for example you can clearly see what is going on and I don't want that I want this game to at least to be try to be scarier than it is now and uh, yeah, this doesn't allow me so yeah let's just spawn some enemies boiler room and there is still no way how to get past this door I need to figure it out what kind of puzzle I'm gonna use it we have a key for this unlocks the door and you're out here and this is the other part of the city but uh, 
it's still not finished and there's nothing here. So I have made the changes for the flashlight. Now you can uh, activate it whenever you want and it doesn't hide uh, any any weapons. So yeah, I think this is more intuitive for the player. You don't need to switch between flashlight and gun. That was a stupid idea, so after a few days of uh, tweaking, I think I completely finished uh, the sewer system and it's fully playable now. So yeah, here are some med packs or items that are scattered around. Here you can see bullets, uh, enemy placement have changed a little bit and also this has appeared here. This is uh, the puzzle I was talking about, so I didn't want to be very hard one because it's pretty much the first one in the game and uh, for, for player not to even go past the sewer system would be a real shame. So yeah, this is pretty simple, so here you can see few valves that you can find it here uh, another one is here and the last one is in the sewers right here and when you collect them all you need to put them in the right uh, place and uh, use them that will fill up the boilers and somehow it will uh, open up the door and uh, also we have a boss here so when you open up the door you enter uh, the boss music starts and this is the boss area you fight also it uh, locks the door so you cannot escape until you finish the lizard yeah I can show you the boss I spent quite some time it has idle animation walking animation which just doesn't look so good but it will do for now and uh, killed state by now you should notice uh, this thing right here so this is uh, the only thing that will indicate the player what you need to do so it's a map you will take the map in here when he uh, walks around the sewers and uh, explore it he might see that uh, this, these two doors are pretty much locked and the only exit is here and when he explores it fully he will find uh, this map which is near this uh, switch and when he looks at the map he will see the map which shows you the places of uh, two of them uh, uh, valves and the third one should be here but it's missing that's why it's uh, with the question sign so I had a few hours off and uh, I thought that it would be a great uh, thing to make a menu system for my game so that's what I did really uh, fast and uh, still in progress it will change most likely this is the controls and uh, title in progress with a few buttons two of them fully work I will show you right now so the music there is no load game controls that you need to know and new game when you press it, it takes you right here and you won't have a gun so for the last few days I spent uh, finishing the map it wasn't finished uh, this area was missing and uh, yeah, the middle part is finally complete I'm thinking that I will move uh, the sewers exit right here 
and the other part that uh, I have started but forgot to record is uh, elementary school so after the sewers the player will uh, have uh, indication to go to the school zone and uh, yeah I started uh, working on on the on that as well so yeah this is how much I already made so there's no outside uh, there's no working stairs and the classrooms are pretty empty one is started to be filled in there's much to do with this school so for the for this week I, I will think I will start making the school fully playable and uh, maybe think about the story after I don't know maybe three days of work uh, this is how much I have made uh, for the school until now it was the most complex uh, thing I ever done because uh, uh, the player most most of the time gonna spend uh, in this small areas like the school uh, and sewers uh, of course he's gonna be in the town also but uh, this is the basically the most amount of time he's gonna spend here I started on the second floor as you can see it's already have walls and uh, so like that and uh, finished rooms there are um, uh, nurses office uh, teachers room uh, few of the classrooms uh, I think it's pretty much the first floor is pretty much done uh, one thing is left is uh, work workable stairs and uh, yeah there are two uh, two floors of course there's gonna be a basement which still needs to be done and this is the maps I was using for for the school if you haven't played Silent Hill uh, these are the the maps from it so all I did is was just overlaid everything and uh, use it as it is for for, for my game so it's uh, if anyone uh, will play it uh, they will see the nod for the Silent Hill also the piano room gonna be here but uh, the so the puzzles for my game is of course going to be different than uh, Silent Hill ones still haven't thought about what kind of puzzles but there is time now uh, the last thing I did for for the, this uh, week is uh, save room portal when the player enters uh, through the door he appears in this room uh, which uh, has some decoration and uh, this object when he touches it it will automatically be saved all the progress and it's yeah just another room in the void so guys once again thank you for watching and this week was uh, very uh, work heavy I think I made uh, quite good progress on it so uh, thank you for watching uh, please like the video comment and subscribe